Friends, over the course of the past 50 years, the March for Life has become the largest human rights demonstration worldwide. And while the march began as a response to Roe, we don't end as a response to Roe being overturned. Why? Because we're not yet done. You have chosen to journey to our nation's capital today, not only to mourn the 64 million children lost through abortion over the last 50 years, but to champion those yet to be born on the road to their own birth, made in the image of the Creator Himself, and to testify to the miraculous sanctity of life itself. Today, we're actually marching to the U.S. Congress, to the U.S. Capitol. And that's very important because the battle for life, the struggle is ongoing and we need, we need to be there. But in so many ways, the Knights need to do what we've always done, be a steady voice for life in our local communities, but also on a national level. The Knights are here to support life in the womb and out of the womb. We recognize that everyone has human dignity and that we, everyone here marching, understands that and respects that and is willing to march for it. The pro-life cause is essential to the mission of the Knights because it's an essential part of our Catholic identity, is cherishing life and supporting life in all its stages. And it's especially important to us today in the wake of the Dobbs ruling to double down on our pro-life efforts. We hope the impact that the March for Life makes is really the conversion of hearts and minds. It makes me very proud as the leader of the Knights of Columbus to be here and to see so many Knights who are actually here year after year to witness to the sanctity of human life. I think this year's march is so important because Roe versus Wade is over, but the struggle for life is not over. And I think we all realize that.